As you think about packing for your hospital stay, remember that you will not need a lot of belongings. While you are in the hospital, you may be wearing a hospital gown for most of your stay. However, when you leave the hospital, you will want to wear loose-fitting clothing, as you will likely have some swelling in your hip or knee. Some people prefer to wear pajamas, which is fine. I would not recommend anything tight, such as jeans. Also, be sure that you bring shoes that have a backing, like a sneaker. Flip-flops and slippers are not recommended because they are loose and can increase your risk to fall. While you're in the hospital, we do provide slipper socks that have non-slip treads to prevent slipping. Cell phones are okay to use, but please don't forget to bring your charger. If you would like to bring a laptop or iPad, wireless internet will be available to you as well. Please do not bring any other valuables into the hospital. There is a safe on the unit in the event that you wish to lock up your belongings, but we encourage you to leave valuables at home. Please leave your medications at home as well. Your nurse will administer all medications you will need from our in-house pharmacy. If you do bring medications in, they will be locked in the unit safe for the duration of your hospital stay. If you have crutches at home, you can bring them in with you on the day of surgery or have a friend or family member bring them in on the day after your surgery. This way, the physical therapist can take a look at them to make sure they are a good fit and that they are in good condition. Prior to coming into the hospital, it's important to begin thinking about care for when you return home. Begin discharge planning early. You will know what day you are expected to be discharged after your surgery. If you're having a hip replacement, you should plan to go home the day after surgery. If you're having your knee replaced, you should plan to go home one to two days after surgery. Please be sure to plan for a ride home on that day. There are a few other preparations you may want to consider before coming into the hospital. You may want to remove any loose rugs or cords in the home that could potentially be tripping hazards. Make sure you have a stable chair with arms and a high seat to sit in, as this will make it easier for you to stand up. You may also want to prepare some meals ahead of time that will be easy to assemble once you're at home.